The father of Timothy Jones Jr. testified on his son's behalf for hours today. Timothy Jones Sr. was emotional as he talked about his grandchildren and his son. News 19's Jacob Reynolds has been in the courtroom the entire time. He joins us now live with more. Jacob. Well, Darcy Jones Sr. took the stand just after 2 p.m. and testified for hours about his son and grandchild. And when that ended at 5, they are expecting him to come back Thursday morning. And he started his testimony talking about Jones Jr.'s childhood and the home he, bro he, the home he grew up in, at times describing it as rough and violent. He also talked about his wife's mental illness and their eventual divorce. Jones Sr. said his son was smart and had his life ahead of him, but he told the jury he didn't approve of Jr.'s marriage to Amber, nor the way he would punish his kids with spankings. Eventually, Jones Sr. and his son had a falling out over Christmas of 2012, and Sr. says he never saw the grandkids alive again. In September of 2014, Jones Sr. talked about getting his son to take investigators to the bodies of his children. Of course, you know, when I went there, because, you know, we had discussed it, you know, whatever happened, I was going to let me spend a few minutes with him, you know, at least, you know, let him know I love him and, you know, hopefully, you know, things are going to, you know, be okay and and uh, they don't know where the babies are. And, and so I just told him, like, you know, please just show him, man, you know, I'll go with you. Whatever I have to do. So you, you offered to go with him to, to find the babies? Right? Yeah, I told Timmy I'd go with him if it's what it took. Want you to go with no, no, I said he didn't want me to, but he, he said, but I'll tell him, I'll show him. And Jones Sr. said after that, he discovered his son's, his fear about his son's behavior had been realized. This is the Tim that I was scared I was going to see one day. I mean, he's got. He's got some relatives and his mother, you know, I mean, unfortunately, they're, they're not right, you know, and uh, I've seen his mother go through it. I've seen her brothers, Eddie, Chris, Arthur, and Domingo killed his damn self. I mean, they're just, it's unfortunate. It's just bad DNA, I guess. It just, I, was, I don't, he's sick, man. I mean, that's all there is to it. That's all I can really, I mean, he's, Cindy has, I mean, you've seen the pictures of her, and it's just a look that I, I just don't know how to explain to you folks. So I'm, I, I seen it when, you know, when I was a young man, and hell, I seen it come again. I didn't, you know, it's a nightmare. And Jones Sr. later told Solicitor Hubbard that he felt Jones Jr. was losing his mind. And like we said, we are expecting him to take the stand again tomorrow morning to finish out his testimony. It's not clear how long the defense will continue presenting their case after that. Reporting live in Lexington County, Jacob Reynolds, News 19, WLTX.